Do you know how many crimes have happened at your child's school? A new bill aims to let you know that. But schools say collecting that data is not so simple. Political reporter Jessica Arp explains. She's in our news center tonight. Hi, Jess. Well, hi there. Yeah, you may hear about criminal incidents that happen at schools, but you'd have to go to the police to ask how many are happening. Schools are actually not required to compile data on how many actual crimes happen on their property. It's a video Schools across Wisconsin are required to keep track of and report to the state the number of suspensions and expulsions that happen in their halls. But after a large fight in September at a Milwaukee high school, Republican lawmaker John Jagler said he was surprised to learn there's no data on crimes that happen on school grounds. DPI doesn't track it. The school's not required to track it. The only way you can get it is to open records requests to the individual police department. And that, to me, sent up a, a big red flag saying, how is this not being calculated or the data not being kept right now? That would include an incident like what happened in April at East High School, where a student was groped by a man in the school's parking lot. So Jagler is proposing a bill that would require schools to report the number of incidents per 100 students on a number of crimes, from sexual assault and arson to disorderly conduct. So parents can have an idea of what's going on, what the, what the atmosphere is like at that school. But Madison schools point out their incident data is on their state performance report put out by the Department of Public Instruction. They're concerned instead that sometimes students report crimes that happen elsewhere to trusted adults at schools. And police record keeping might place those crimes at the school when they didn't happen there. So it's a complicated system, but the bottom line is that uh, it would require a great um, deal of analysis to ensure that we are providing an accurate portrayal of the incidents that, that occur in schools. Now you note that this all sounds somewhat similar to the Cleary Act, which is what colleges and universities are subject to. They have to release that information to parents or prospective students. Jagler said he modeled it that way, but the schools point out that even for higher education institutions, this data reporting can be cumbersome and that it may not be clear how useful that data is to families that are making decisions on a school. Jess, could this information be counted against a school on its report card that they look at every year? Well, Jaylor says while the crime information would be included on the report card that a parent would see, it wouldn't be used in a school's rating, but there's clearly a general concern among schools that this could create a misleading comparison if that data isn't tracked very carefully. And I'll bet it's something a lot of parents did not even know until now. Yeah, Jessica Arp reporting from the newsroom. Thanks, Jess.